I'd like to take you through the full process of getting started with the Bar Sensei. Here, we're going to show an example of the squat using the A2P Sport app. With your package, you'll have the neoprene sleeve and the Bar Sensei module, which slides inside. Make sure you give this a nice full charge, at least a couple hours. This has an auto sleep mode on it, so to wake it up before we use the Bar Sensei, we give it a firm tap like this, and it'll be ready to go. We fix it onto the barbell here. Placement is dependent on, dependent on your lift. So since we're going to be doing a squat here, I've got the Bar Sensei set up between the shoulder and the hand position. So let me go ahead and uh, zoom on in a little bit so you can see how the app operates. We'll bring this in tighter here. The A2P Sport app is a free download in the Apple App Store. iPad requirements would be Air, Air 2, Mini 4, or Pro. These all run on the 64-bit chipset. So I'm going to go ahead and open up A2P Sport app. I already have a team set up in here. You'll be able to do that. You can also create your own user login. I'll select Precision Players. I have my roster here. So since we're going to go to a workout, we'll touch the selected athlete, in this case Steve Landry. Touch Workout. First thing that's going to happen with this pop-up window is the Bar Sensei sensor will appear here. You've got to sync it up with the iPad. So I'll touch right there. And you'll see it'll do the sync up process. That green means we're at a full charge. So it'll also indicate yellow or red. Check mark means we're synced up. So I just hit next. And then I'm ready to go. Um, it defaults on squat, but if you were going to do a different exercise, you just touch like that. So we've got squat here. We're going to be setting up in pounds. I'll go ahead and enter in the load, touch off like this. And then when I touch finish, it's going to start a countdown, 10 second countdown to allow me to get in the ready position before I do the squat exercise. So let me just pan out a little bit. And the goal here is you can see the finish of the rep, but still see the numbers populating on the screen. That should be pretty good right there. And so I'll hit finish. You see I've got my 10 second countdown. I've got this set to display peak speed, pop 100, and distance. Those are the three metric windows. And let me go ahead and zoom back in so you can see what that's looking like. This top box is showing peak speed, 1.25 meters per second. Pop 100 is 0.45 meters per second. In case you're not familiar with Pop 100, that represents explosiveness or rate of force development. How much speed can you generate in the 100 millisecond point of the concentric phase coming out of the hole? And then distance is an estimate of how far the barbell was displaced. If you want to look at different metrics, You've got that option. You just touch on the window here. You could look at average speed. You could look at peak power. It's really up to you, your preferences. Down in this area, we've got peak speed selected. If you can see the 1.26, that was the peak speed concentric of the first rep. Second rep was 1.25 meters per second. This gray area, point 0.61 and a 0.69, that's the loading speed. So we recognize how important the eccentric phase is. We want to report that. Now, if I want to start in to do another set, I would simply touch new set, get the countdown, and I'd go again. If you're working in the team environment and you want to change out an athlete, we built in a real efficient feature into the 2P Sport app to rotate the athletes through. 
I just touch on, we just finished up the lift, touch on the new one, you see the name change there, new set, and then you go. So before I changed out on the previous athlete, all that information is saved. And now on this next set, it'll save the data to this athlete. 